Yeah, I just love you. I was like, Lake Powell. It's kind of warm today. I mean, it's not, I would prefer, I think, Lake Powell, I think maybe April or spring. Um, but right now it's it's warm, but it's, these RVers over there, they're serious RVers. They have their luxury RVs over there. But anyway, so to, to us, we've up upgraded because we had a pop-up and uh, now we have this one. This is my favorite. One of my students' parents gave me this. Happiness is a little peace and quiet. So true. <laughs> Action. Okay, Ivan. What do you know where we're at right now? We're um, somewhere in Utah on the way to Bryce Canyon. Mm, okay. So one of the conveniences about doing this RV life is that you don't have to eat fast food. So if you're hungry, you can pull over as Ivan did and we can just have a snack because I didn't really eat breakfast. I had a banana and I had some cashews, but then I'm hungry, so it's about 12.30 or something like that. So, I pulled, we pulled over and I got some almond milk and muesli, and then I'm going to have an apple. So just because you're on the road doesn't mean you have to eat out all the time. You can have healthier options. What do you think, Ivan? Mm-hmm. I agree. Okay, we'll continue this later. Thank you, everybody. If you're curious, this is the muesli that I was eating. I am eating. It's called um, Bob's Red Mill, gluten free, usually. And oh, yeah, I have with almond see. milk here. And then Ivan decided that he, well, Ivan decided that he wants to eat a tuna sandwich, but unfortunately, the tuna that he had was frozen. So, what Ivan decided to do. He decided to um, heat his tuna sandwich on the, what do you call that item? A little on the plate. Yeah, he wanted to do that, but he set the alarm off, which is good. So we know the alarm is working. And you know what, everybody? So I was thinking that a part of any travel channel, what I have not seen, when I, cause I like to watch travel channels and what I have not seen, I have not seen anybody well, I have seen some people travel snacks. They they do they do pray, but I'm thinking that a part of any journal, a bar, a part of any journey, the most important thing besides food, besides water, um, besides having a running uh, fridge or a bed to sleep in, I think the most important part of any travel is having a prayer life, and that's what I want to incorporate in this channel, where we're going to have not just the things that we need physically, but the things that we need spiritually to, because when you're traveling with somebody, with another person, whether it's your sister, your husband, your aunt, or traveling with a group, you're gonna encounter uh, points in the travel where it's gonna be, people are gonna get on each other's nerves. But I think if we incorporate travel, I'm sorry, I'll refrain. I am, if we incorporate prayer, in any part of the time when you're driving to work, or but we're talking about travel now, I think incorporating prayer will make you stronger with whoever you're traveling with, whether it's your husband, your sister, your brother, or whatever it may be. So, um, dear God, I want to say right now, thank you so much for taking us this far in our journey. We left Paige, and now we're on our way to Bryce Canyon. And Lord, continue to bless us in our travels and to that we can bless other people and be encouraging to each other and to those we encounter on the road. In your name always, Jesus. Amen. Amen.